Hey guys, this is SP737 and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world. And uh, oh, still on the windowsill is uh, his thunder from the last video. Can I can I get him down or is he he's well and truly wedged there? Is he is, he, is he, he's either on the, my bed or on the windowsill? If I sort of push him off, no dogs on the bed. What have we had to say about this thunder? Right? There you go. All right, stay there. Well, well, well good boy. All uh, right, I think <laughs> today I'm going to take Benji with me. So uh, come on, Benji, let's go and see Fred in his challenge shack and uh, and see what challenge he's got for us today. The last time I took Benji, I left him in the snow. And he was uh, completely frozen for ages, so I had to sit him by the fire. So hopefully he's, uh, he's, uh, he doesn't mind coming with me today. All right, so uh, Fred, he's back in his challenge shack, not hiding anywhere this time. All right, so wear this pumpkin and go somewhere spooky. Okay, right. Um, let's have a look at this. Okay, there's a pumpkin in here, so I have to wear it. Right, let's, uh, let's put this on my head then. And oh, things are looking spooky already. Okay, right, I've got to find a place. I know just the, the place for spooky. I'm going to get my sword out as well, just to be on the safe side. Okay, okay, that's a shovel. <laughs> okay, there's a zombie there. This is actually very spooky indeed. <laughs> I can't turn the lights. Okay, so we can take out that zombie. There we go. <clears throat> right, let's let's be careful. Oh, spider, spider. Oh, oh, I don't like this at all. <laughs> you ready? Just looking around. Dun, dun. There could be anything in here. Yeah, this is uh, this is this is a little bit a little bit spooky. I don't know. Do you think we've done it done enough uh, for Fred? Yeah, I'm sure we've done enough. Uh, I'm, I think I'd scared. Think I'd scare Fred off. Look, at me. just the way that my beak sort of comes through as well. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like uh, the the pumpkin's eating a carrot or something, isn't it? All uh, right. Well, uh, there you go, Fred. Boo! Oh, lucky he jumped out of his skin, didn't he? Not really. <laughs> right. I'd rather uh, take this uh, pumpkin helmet off. There we go. That's better. I can feel like it, I can see again now. Not a big fan of the uh, the pumpkin thing, but you know what I am a big fan of? Fish. So thank you very much, Fred, for my reward fish. Thank you very much for breakfast. So let's have a munch on that. And then I think, as is tradition, we're going to try and conquer the slime parkour. I need to think of something new to do in the in the in, like at this point in the episode instead of slime parkour, don't I? You know, because it's just. It's just too difficult is basically the, the problem with it, isn't it? I can't do it. And it's just like every episode is pretty much the same, so... Yeah, that's pretty much in a nutshell what happens every episode. I just drop off without jumping, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's me all over. Right, don't you uh, try it, Benji, because uh, Benji will probably do it first time. I don't want you to show me up. That's, uh, that's my excuse. Right, here we go. So... Right, so today we're going <laughs> to... Forget that, forget that. We're going to see Fenton for a change. We're going to see how Fenton's doing. I haven't seen him for a while, so we'll just pop by here and see if, uh, see if Fenton's all right, what's, what he's doing in his lab. I wonder if he's stuck there. He's been there for so long in this corner that, and he just doesn't move. I, oh, no, why is there always... Get back, Benji! Oh, oh, I thought someone was going to die there. <laughs> Fenton, why do you keep having these things spawning in your lap? You're, it's very fortunate that I'm, I was here. Now, my inventory is completely full, so I can't really fit uh, the bed in it to uh, to place it back down. But that was that was close. I thought Benji might have, might have died there. Or not. I know. I, I, and you, Fenton. <laughs> right, so what was it? Was, I've got to get the right painting now. I wasn't I wasn't banking on having to rebuild your lab in this episode. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's just... So where are the creepers? Because it's not the first time I've had creeper problems in this place. Uh, is it probably some machine he's got. Uh, right, I'm going to try one more time, and then if it doesn't work, right, I'll, I'll fix that later. And the rest of it. Well, <laughs> at least you're out of the corner now, Fenton. <laughs> you're welcome. All uh, right, let me let me give you some pork chop. There you go. All right, so, uh, yeah, Benji, <laughs> every time Benji comes with me, something, something bad happens to him. All uh, right, well, I think we should just uh, get on with the build. Yeah, where are they spawning, though? I'm not, I'm not sure. I like. I didn't see it, and I walk in. It's like he's hiding round here or something. Maybe the. Sp I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll look into it. Did the book shit? No, not nothing much, bro. Which is good at least. Right. So yeah, today we're gonna be building a uh, a mini game in SB land. We've 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 not built a mini game for so long. Like, you know, a proper you know core mini game, actual mini game kind of thing. Not in SB land. Penguin Towers. What what am I playing at? Penguin Towers. That's what it's called. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be building a, a mini game there, which is we're gonna be called basket block, right? And it's like a basketball kind of idea, but in Minecraft, if that, if that makes sense. So we're going to be on like a basketball court, and then it's going to be playable. Uh, I don't know who I'm going to play against. I, I don't think Fenton or Fred will be much uh, much use, so I'll probably try and uh, and get F uh, Sid the Squid out to play with me. I don't know if he's about at the moment. Well, I'll, I'll pop by the, the house at some point, though, to see if uh, Sid's about, and then if, if he is, then I can do that. Otherwise, I might have to try and lure him out with a fish or something like that. Sometimes it works. If I put a fish in his house, he sometimes does come and come back and uh, appear. So that's what I'll I'll try. I'll try and give uh, Sid a game a basket block, which should be quite good fun. But uh, that so hopefully we'll get all that done in this episode. But the first things first, we've got to get it built. So it's it's not too complicated, but it's uh, it's going to take a bit of doing. So I have kind of like marked out the uh, the the dimensions of it, almost like. 
No, exactly. Yeah, like I've put the corners down basically. So you know, that's that's pretty much the dimensions, isn't it? It's kind of nice to have penguin towers getting quite a few builds in it as well now. You know, and make it make it feel like a place worth going around. You know, it used to just be this big flat grassland, and well, it used to be a jungle really. But yeah, we're slowly but surely we're we're getting there with this place. So. I'm going to pull out uh, some stuff. I need to kind of work out. I need to know where the middle is. So that's that's to come. Uh, if I maybe just get... I could do some quartz and uh, maybe do some uh, some blue wool. And then uh, what we're going to do... And stop looking at me like that with the, the bark chops in my hand. <laughs> right, so I'm going to build this uh, with blue wool right the way across. I don't exactly know where the middle block is, to be honest. So I might have to do a bit of counting, actually. Should we, should we let's have a thing? So I know it's about 25 wide. So uh, if I get out some uh, some red wool... And then bring this uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 maybe? So now that's 1, that's that's 10, that's 11, and then that's that's 12, and then, nah, you see, I think, I, I think like that would make it even, would it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so what I actually want to do is move it like out one, because I want it to be a three wide uh, entrance, not a uh, not a one wide entrance. I want, I want, you know, if we've got any, any fat players to get on the court, they, they want they need to be able to get through, don't they? Yeah, we don't need to be too too narrow at all, do we? So, then what I'm going to do is going to build this up like, like this, and uh, kind of just build like a little, little entranceway like that, I suppose. Is that, yeah, that's, uh, that looks entranceway enough for me. And then I'm going to bring uh, this blue wool across, and on top of that, just put some quartz down. So, it's going to be one side that's blue, and then one side that's red. So, whatever team you're on, whether you're on the blue team or the red team, you'll you'll kind of know uh, from uh, from this. Uh, so, then we're going to do uh, a layer of red. I almost did a layer of blue, but no, we don't want to be clashing. It's uh, one side is red, one side is blue. Uh, so, I should get some, like, dyed jumper, shouldn't I? I should get, like, a, a red one and a blue one. And then I could, like, yeah, you could, like, have your bibs and stuff for the team. That'd be quite a good idea, wouldn't it? But uh, I've, I've forgotten to bring jumpers. But, I mean, the Jolly Jumper short star would uh, surely sell some uh, some that would work. Um, <laughs> so, we could, uh, we could try that. But, I suppose if Sid's playing, he is uh, he is blue, being a squid. So I, I think he can uh, he can just uh, do the the job of um, uh, he yeah he can uh, he can be on the blue team because yeah he's blue. I mean I kind of resemble red. When I go on holiday and get sunburnt, I go I go red. Okay, that's uh, that's that's my <laughs> that's my reason for being on the red team. Not a very convincing one, I know, but it'll have to do. Uh, so now I'm going to be bringing the quartz all the way round to the other end. I should have a few more stacks here, bro. I always like to bring plenty of the resources, as you know. Uh, right, so I've, I've reached this uh, this bit. So connect it up, and then we might as well just connect this bit up, and then we can kind of fill in uh, all these other bits. So we've also got to do the uh, the middle bit, the inside, because uh, that's going to be uh, going to be like a wood court. We're not going to be playing on grass. No, it's uh, it's going to hurt if you fall on this. Uh, it's going to be uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to use mainly oak wood, but then also some birch wood to sort of uh, be for the um, like the markings and stuff like that. I suppose uh, that's uh, that's what I'm going to be using that for. So. I'm going to bring some blue wool, uh, and then in the, uh, but only as far as, like, in line with this. So, wait, that, this wants to be quartz, I think. So, that's going to be quartz, and then that's also going to be quartz. And then, to mix it up a bit, because you know how much I like to mix things up, I'm going to put some black wool in here, like that. There you go. And then, uh, then we're going to be the red side. So that's kind of going to be like the, the partitioning bit, uh, just to just put it through there. And then, uh, then you can kind of see that... Uh, well, that's where the halfway line is going to be, like, right down uh, this middle bit as well. But I'll be marking the halfway line with the uh, birch wood, uh, just so you uh, you know what it is. I mean, uh, I mean, the halfway line isn't, like, imperative, but, yeah, that's that. So, I mean, I suppose I should kind of explain how you play it. So, it is kind of simple. Uh, whilst I'm, uh, I'm going to bed, I can explain that, but... What what happens is come on uh, come on Benji, uh, you 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 have a, a, a brown block so you see I've got the uh, the brown block which I should really rename to the uh, the ball and then uh, what you do is you, uh, you you if you run with it that's like dribbling okay so if you just like have the the block in your hand and you run with it that's uh, that's how you like keep the ball. And then what you can do is uh, you have to like jump and shoot and like jump and press B, uh, you know, like like that, and try and throw it into a hopper. And if you get it in the hopper, you get you get a point. If you miss, then you can you know can try and rebound it by catching it, or your opponent can can get it. That's kind of how your opponent can dispossess you. But then the opponent can also block it by using like a button that pushes out a piston, which kind of blocks it. And you'll you'll kind of make more sense when I, when I actually go to it, but. And actually build that bit, but that's that's kind of the general idea. We'll see if Sid's about. Uh, Sid, you all right? Hey, no, no, nobody home. No. <laughs> right, I think I think I'll get some fish in a bit. I'll, I'll wait till I finish before I uh, I lure him over though. Yeah, first, well, uh, we'll we'll wait for, we'll wait till we finish for for, for squid uh, for Sid the squid to come for Sid. <laughs> okay, I still need to fix that. That still looks a bit untidy that bit as well. That uh, I need to do a bit of uh, terraforming there, don't I? Uh, so I uh, will head along here. I, I kind of fancy a ride on the road. Right. 
first do your work and then you can play as me. <laughs> Not the other way around. That's, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. I fancy playing on this for a change. Oh, I fancy playing on that. No, get your work done. <laughs> so uh, what I need to do is uh, get some black wool out and then um, I need to find where the middle block is. So it's 17 long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think that looks like the middle block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, I think this is the middle block. Yeah, because I was thinking, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. That's the middle block. Don't, don't argue with me. It just is. Uh, so, do I want this to be, I think, too high? And then if we put a piece of uh, blue wool on top. Uh, no, in fact, I'll make, make the black wool three high, I think. And then, uh, oh, hello. <laughs> and then put that on top. And then what I need to do is get myself, uh, oh, I could put the piston mechanism down now, actually. Yeah, this you can kind of be able to see how the, uh, the whole redstone business is going to work. Uh, so, uh, the hoppers can go like that as well. So, if that piston face is the right way, no, it's uh, it's not going to be my day for pistons, is it? <laughs> right, I'm not going to do this uh, properly. Uh, maybe I could build something if I sort of go like like this, maybe, and then uh, place that like that, and then if I can put the piston on here, uh, there we go. So that's exactly where I want it to be, and then we can mine them away because they're they're not important anyway. So we'll get get rid of them. And then what we can do is we can uh, get the rest of that all built. So I'm kind of going to go around the uh, the top of it. I'm, I'm going to end up with all sorts of little nerd nerd poles all over the place. Uh, so yeah, this uh, goes across it like that. There we go. And then uh, the same sort of happens here as well uh, to, uh, to kind of make like the basketball hoop uh, kind of uh, thing. And then if I put some redstone on top and then uh, if I put a button here, I think that should, if all goes to plan, that should power it okay. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, have I done that right? I feel like I feel like I'm I'm not sure on this one, uh, but I guess uh, I guess time will tell if I've uh, I've done it right. <laughs> I suppose if I press the button, you'll be able to tell. So if I put the button, oh no, the button's meant to be on the front. Why am I doing? I thought uh, I saw I, I looked at the button on the back and I thought, why do I have that redstone on top if the button's on the back? And then <laughs> I realised how are you gonna how are you gonna press the button whilst you're playing if the button's on the back? It's gonna be <laughs> gonna be difficult to press it when it's there. So that's why I need the redstone so that it activates the piston. You wouldn't need it otherwise if the button was at the back. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, now it's now it's making more sense. Okay, I'm, I'm more sure that I've got it right. So then uh, you push that pushes that out. So you can kind of see uh, where this is going. So say I uh, I go for a shot of redstone, right? Uh, and then I'm not gonna be able to do this, but and then say say like and then I push that out and then like. It, it blocks it, but obviously I just got it in because I'm I'm amazing. I can't miss. But you can imagine with your opponent. So kind of like maybe I could do it. Did it? Did it stop it? No, not that time. But I'm sure I can. I'm sure I could do it. Just gotta be. Oh, <laughs> I threw it on top. <laughs> oh, man. This is this is probably gonna be a bad a bad idea at all, isn't it? Oh, where did it go then? Did it go into the the hopper? I've lost my redstone. Well, and now it did go in the hopper. Okay, right. Anyway, we'll do the other ones. We'll we'll see how it works in the game. It might be like 100%. <laughs> whoever starts basically wins. That might be. I might have to uh, rethink of the rules a little bit, but we'll see. So anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think eight. Yeah. Okay, eight. I should really be uh, but nerd pulling up with this as well. It's going to make things easier. Uh, so there we go. And then uh, put that like that. And then uh, finally, oh, I've got to do the piston again, haven't I? Right, let's see if I can do it any better this time. Probably can't, knowing... Because it is me, you know. It's, uh, it's unlikely that I can do it any better. But I'll try. Nope. Okay, it's in the wrong place. Uh, what? I, I mean, I guess I'm just, yeah, just going to have to do exactly what I did before. Right? Uh, just place that on there, that on the back, and then uh, put that like that. There we go. So uh, now what we've got to do is just build around this uh, this piston and then uh, around this as well. There we go. So now uh, I've just got to do the same thing. Just uh, shove some uh, redstone on top and put the button on the right side. <laughs> and then uh, put the hopper like that. There we go. So I think that... That should work. I hope so. Let's let's just see. Uh, so if we press the button, it's, oh no! Uh, as you can see, it's kind of difficult. There we go. It works like a charm. Hopefully, the whole blocking system does work. <laughs> oh well, we'll we'll have to see, won't we? You know, you ne you never know with these games. You never know. Uh, so now I've got to do is get a, a digging. Oh, this is not going to be fun, right? So I've got a, a, I've realised what I first need to do. Well, first, I need to make sure that. Uh, that Benji doesn't kill himself. So <laughs> I'm going to dig out this. I'm going to put down uh, the uh, the sandstone. So I'll put sandstone uh, right the way in there and then here. And then here is going to be uh, birch wood. Uh, so to kind of make the uh, the markings. So we'll do that. I think it's probably best if I do it like this, like in sections rather than like the whole thing. Like do the markings and then then like that. So what I'm going to do is dig uh, this right the way along here. So this is like the uh, the halfway line. As long as nobody falls down the middle and falls down there. Because that's where all the uh, the mobs are down there. All right. I want to place down the right, uh, the right material. So yeah, birch planks is going to come right the way down the middle. There we go, and uh, then uh, I'm going to come to here, and this is actually two away, so I'm going to mine away these uh, these three, actually. Uh, there we go, and on this side as well, uh, these three. 
and then uh, put them like that, and that like that, and then uh, we just have to fill in. And this, this is kind of the uh, the main markings of it, which is a pretty easy thing to do, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're we're finding this uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, so there we go. We've got that side, and then the other the other D. You know, you kind of see it's starting to come together. And even even if it doesn't like work as a great basketball game to play, uh, as I'm in my world most of the time by myself, I don't mind. Maybe the, the mobs can uh, can play together all the zombies and skeletons when they come because they do they do visit they do come to uh, SB land all the time actually. Uh, at Penguin Towers even. I'm gonna. I, I, I don't know if any of us are going to get used to this uh, this naming. <laughs> Being SB love for so long. Uh, right, so uh, let's uh, place down a birch plank, and then uh, all we need to do now is kind of fill in uh, all the rest we've got. So yeah, I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get you out of the way, uh, Benji, because I feel like you will fall if I uh, like down there and, and kill yourself. So if I sort of sit yourself down, sit you down out here, uh, then that should uh, be the safest option, I think. So. Now what I need to do is uh, mine out all of that. There we go. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and do it. It's kind of like, oh no, oh no, I've done exactly what I said I did. What I did. It's kind of well lit is this area. I suppose, yeah, you look over there, it's a little bit more dangerous. But down here isn't too bad, which is good. It'd be a good a good little area to place Bleef in here, wouldn't it? If, uh, if, if I had someone to play, if I'd got to sit a bit earlier. I'd, he won't want to help though. He won't want to help me uh, do any building. So <laughs> it's probably for the best that uh, he's not he's not here. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get all of that. Uh, mind out. There we go. In fact, I think what the best thing to do is what what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll dig out all of this and then I'll fill it in with oak. So that's basically all I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be uh, if I just grab the oak planks, uh, I'm just going to be filling in uh, the oak uh, all the way around here, uh, just like this. So uh, yeah, filling it all in so that the uh, the court's done, and then uh, I'll so I'll dig it all out and fill it in just so then we have uh, we have time to play it as well afterwards. So uh, I'll uh, I'll do that and then uh, be right back when that is all done. Right, so now I've uh, managed to do the whole oak floor like this, and uh, yes, I put some torches around the outside as well, just to keep it light, you know, if we're if we're playing in the dark and stuff. And uh, it looks like uh, Benji is uh, <laughs> slowly moving his way away. away. All right, all right, Benji, do you, want, do you want to come for a trek? I might. Uh, nah, yeah, let's let's bring him for a walk. So yeah, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and play the game, uh, but we're gonna have to go and see if uh, we can find Sid the squid. So I'm gonna try and lure him with a bit of fish. That might be uh, a good idea. Ho hopefully it works. Hopefully he does. Uh, it does uh, work. I don't know if he's if, if if he's around or not though. So. I mean, I know if I tried to learn with fish, it would it would work on me. So you never know, is it? <laughs> uh, we'll try it. So I'll get some fish out of here. I might even put Benji in this house if he wants to come over here. I don't know where Benji's gone, actually, is he? Is that, he could be anywhere. He's, he's, he's probably having fun, isn't he, somewhere sniffing, sniffing flowers. Where is Benji? No, I don't know. <laughs> Just turn around and be there. All right, let's, anyway, let's grab some, uh, some fish. And uh, see, yeah, see if, uh, well, oh, there you are, right, I'm going to leave you inside, okay, Benji, because uh, uh, this game, you see, in, in this game, you're allowed to, like, punch each other and do physical contact, so, uh, yeah, you are going to uh, get a bit hurt, but anyway, let's try and, um, let's try and lure him out, so if I maybe, like, throw one down the hole, and then sort of make a bit of a, a bit of a trail, is this, is this going to work? We'll see if, uh, if, see if we can lure him out, is it, is it working, let's have a see. Uh, is, he, is he on his way out? Not so far. Uh, oh wait, oh wait, there he is. <laughs> it did work. It managed to, uh, he managed to, um, uh, he managed to uh, come up against the uh, the lure. Right, come on. Oh, well, Sid, are you alright then? How, how are you doing? Are you doing okay? I haven't seen you for a while, actually. It's been a, been a, bit, of, a bit of time. Are you still enjoying your fish? Uh, have you, um, are you a for game of basket block then? I mean, you haven't, you haven't, yeah, you are. You, know, you don't know what it is, but I'm sure you'll do it. Have a bit of fun, a bit of minigames. He's been, probably been out on his travels swimming about, so it'll be, uh, be a nice change for him, I suppose, to, uh, to have a bit of a, a bit of a... I play the minigame, so I guess I'll have to explain the rules. I've no idea how well this is going to work. Hopefully you don't get lost either. Yeah, follow me this way. I'm going to eat a fish as well, actually. I'm a bit partial to fish. Uh, so, basically, uh, in this game, you, you can hit each other. Uh, that's uh, that's allowed. You can also block shots by pressing the buttons above the, the backboard, as you, as you can see. And then, uh, if you have the ball, you can just run with it, and that, that sort of counts as, uh, as dribbling and everything. Uh, so... I like I, if I have the ball now, I can dribble up the court, and then I just have to try and try and shoot. And then you can like hit me to try and block it. You can um, you can press the button, uh, all all that sort of kind of thing to try and block it. So there's a few a few different ways, and basically I've just got to f throw it into the the hoop to score by pressing B. But yeah, you can block it if you time it just right. You can block it, which can be a little bit tricky, but it says uh, doable. So would you like to be on the blue team or on the red team? Hey, eh? which which side do you want? Okay, I think he's going for red. Okay, right. Well, I'll let you start as well, uh, being the uh, the underdog, <laughs> the under squid in this case. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's go. Okay, <laughs> why is he putting? Where did he get those pants from? <laughs> okay, it's been it's been. Have you been looting my uh, my chest, getting some armor for yourself? Are eh? you getting getting prepared? Right. Anyway, are you ready? 
Hey, we're going to go in three, two, one, go. Right. Uh, so I'm going to try, going to try and hit him back a little bit. Uh, is he, <laughs> is he in his fish already? Okay, I'll let you eat your fish before we start. Okay, I'll let you eat your fish first. Eh? I, I know when what someone wants to eat the fish. Look, he's hungry. <laughs> I haven't been not very good at bit catching fish. Look at him go. <laughs> Right, now are you ready? Are you ready now? Okay, he's, he's away. Right, let's try and let's try and hold him back. Wow, he, did he just slam dunk that? I think he, I think he did. Oh, did we get it? Yes, we, we blocked him and we managed to get the thing. Right, we can try and break now. Okay, right, he's trying to hit me, but it won't work. Right, let's uh, let's try and shoot it in. And look at that straight. Hey, eh? we were miles away. <laughs> okay, so it's one nil to me. So if you get it out, of, get the uh, the block out of there. And then we'll go again. I don't know how well, like, pressing the button kind of works. If that's a good idea. Like, if you can kind of try and hit them in mid-shot. Oh, look at that. I, I did it again. If you can do it as they're mid-shooting, that kind of works. You want to be getting back and defending, Sid. Come on. You know, you're not the best basketball. Hitting me towards the net isn't going to help. It just wants an excuse to punch me. I think that's what it's all about. <laughs> all right, now it's getting a little bit tricky, you see. This is how you do it. All right, I'm going to have a quick, uh, quick pork chop. I just get my helmet right. Uh, so, I'm uh, going to keep circling him. And, oh, oh, did it go in? Did it go in? I don't know if it went. I, sh I shot you. I've, I've shot it, Sid. <laughs> did it go in? It did. I got it again. Two nil. Oh, we're uh, we're taking a commanding lead here, aren't we? Right. So uh, here he comes. He needs to try and score this time. Okay, Sid. I'm gonna gonna hold you back. He might be a little bit more tactical, a little bit more patient on this one. That might be what he uh, what he goes for. Okay. So he's yeah. He's kind of trying to work his way around. Oh, he's getting close. He's getting close. And uh, oh, is he is he gonna get it? No. I'm gonna try and block it with this. Oh, and he missed again. <laughs> He's not getting close enough. I'll let you get back, sir. I'll let you get back in defense, okay? Go on. Have, you, have your chance. There you go. Right. Okay. Can SB get the winner here? Oh, he's coming. He's coming attacking now. <laughs> no, Sid. No. <laughs> Don't hit me. Right. Uh, this is the one time we get to punch each other. Look at that. Straight in again. Come on, Sid. I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you one more chance to try and score. You're not very good at this guy. Either I'm really good. I thought it would be like not work because I thought we'd both just keep scoring. But as you can see, Sid's, Sid's pretty bad at uh, chucking it in. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, come on, Sid. Come on. He's got his, his, his those iron leggings are not helping you, are they? Uh, look, he needs to run closer. <laughs> look at him. He's just like prancing about. I don't, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, and he missed again. <laughs> Go on, Sid. Have a free shot. Have a free shot. Go on. <laughs> Is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? Come on. Hey, he got one in at least. Are you happy now, Sid? Are you happy? <laughs> But I think that was basket block. Okay, even broke my court. Uh, but yeah, I have no idea whether we'll ever play that again. But it was it was fun for me. Anyway, I, I won the Grand Victorious Penguin. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please do make sure you leave a like. Uh, it just really shows support for the channel. Look, he's, he's practicing. That's, that's what needs to happen. And uh, do also subscribe if you're new around here for daily videos of Minecraft. And let me know in the comments if you want to see Squid around a bit more. We might be able to tempt him out of his, uh, his little home a bit more often, might we? Uh, but yeah, guys, as I said, thanks so much for watching. And hopefully I will see... <laughs> Still can't score. <laughs> but hopefully I will see you next time.